Hey everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. We're playing more Shape of Dream today. You may have seen my video yesterday. If not, you might want to check that one out first because I go over like how the game works and whatnot. I'll put like a tag or just something in the description to go directly to that video. But anyways, uh, I'm recording this later on in the day because honestly, I just wanted to play more. Uh, I really wanted to try out Mr. Mr. Praise the Sun Knight over here with the big bonk stick. I also went ahead and invested in his specific uh meta progression tree so his sanctuary of l ability which is his um ultimate now also uh heals for 30 percent of his missing health which seems good plus suppression stuns nearby enemies which is his q and he has like what, like 80 more health. I still need to put more points into imagination for, uh, you know, the purposes of economy and doing more things. And that's what I'm planning to do after this run, but I really want to try this guy out. So if you didn't see yesterday's video and you ignored my guys at the beginning, that is totally acceptable. This game is basically what would happen if you took League of Legends or Dota 2 and said, let's make a roguelike out of it in the form of, you know, let's take its combat and turn it in roguelike-ish. I guess I should look and see what all the abilities do very specifically. So our Q uh, causes, oh, our Q causes our next attack to do extra damage and stun, and it's an AoE. Now, that means I got to Q it up. And then our ultimate, which is a chargeable thing, uh, blesses the surrounding ground. So it's consecration. If you're a WoW player. Deal damage nearby enemies. Shield allies. Allies includes me. Allies on blessed ground gain more defense, attack speed, and memory haste, which is cooldown reduction. <laughs> okay. Just everything. You just get everything. Seems good. And then resolve max health decreased by 125 every fourth basic attack becomes a crit uh when resolve is triggered and hits an enemy i recover eight percent holy moly all right this guy's got everything so hunters are here we are here i think we could do this i think we're allowed to go back towards it and then come back uh bonk What is his? Oh, okay. He has one dash charge. Oh, also his dash is just different. It's a charge attack. Okay. Good to know. Also, the screen stop thing is definitely on crit. So I was curious about that in the last video. Oh, I love this character already. I I love this character. What do we get? Anti-gravity plus? You what now? Reverses gravity and target area, lifting all enemies in the range for 1.6 seconds, then slams them down, dealing 206. We're Kenjaku? Oh, that's kind of a spoiler. Oh, yeah, kind of not. What happens if we go back to the same place we've already been? I'm curious about that, too. Oh, just nothing. Just time happens. Yeah, I mean, there's no point in us actually going to where the merchant is because we don't have any money. An ordinary ring, new artifact. We gotta figure out who to bring it to. All right, gravity. Oh my God, it's so satisfying. Let's use our ult. Sure, yeah, why not? All right, why would I ever not play this character? <laughs> Maybe we'll find out. Maybe it's because he only has one dash, but it's also a charge attack and you gain a shield. And your damage is based off your max health and you knock them back. Okay, well, you know, just, just do it all. Do it all, why don't you? I can hit them while they're in the air, too. That's nice. I don't think we need to heal. I think we're all right. We could go to the well. I don't know that we really need to go to the well here, but I'm going to do it. Our um, ult seems to charge pretty slow. I'll say that. Wow, gravity. <laughs> gravity squeeze over here is pretty sweet. These butterflies. All right. 
Maybe not a speedrun character, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Spider. I'm not sorry. I hate spiders. Just give them a little lift. What do we have? The beam of light. Focus your mind to fire a beam over... No target? Oh, there has to be a target. Can't fire it at myself, either. Well, we don't have any dust to use the wells, so that's why I'm ignoring it. Uh, you use the wells to increase the quality of your stuff. Which you will see as you go, oh my gosh, that seems ridiculous. This is the, like, super paladin fantasy right now with gravity. We're, we're paladin Radon. Which is ultra satisfying. I would like to heal myself. Maybe, maybe a bit of a wasted ult here. What was the shrine back here? Oh, it's just the... That's just a heal if you need it. Someone's calling out to you. All right, this is for that artifact. But also, I believe that these places have lots of loot for us. Like gold and stardust, which is meta progression. And dream dust and just, just all the dust and memory fragments. Although we don't really need memory fragments. Glacial stomp. I don't think I want glacial stomp. Like, it's cool, but we're already like doing things. I'd rather just dismantle it. What we want is the other thing, the shards that go underneath. That's like the whole gimmick of this game is like enhancing your spells to do other synergy stuff. It's breaking all the stuff before we talk to this guy. Hello there, you have a mysterious item. I do. Here, take it. Um, sure gonna do something it also gave us some meta progression we're not too worried about meta progression we're not too worried about the story right now we're, we're playing uh i will i will trade i think we have enough money to get something good here each time this memory hits an enemy it summons blades that lacerate the target for 25 damage twice every two seconds for five seconds after casting his memory, attack damage increased by 12 and health by nine on each attack. I do like that one. Every five seconds, the cast his memory is empowered, dropping three meteors. And eh, that we could take like beam of light, which would upgrade our beam of light. I think I think I'm inclined to take this one. And just equip it here because this has a 4.8 second cooldown so this is basically just permanent as long as i keep that ability active hunters are entering this area i don't think they will exit they will enter the exit point at least to my knowledge the exit point is also a boss hi <laughs> Uh, I wonder if I can interrupt some stuns. I'm realizing that some of the bosses might uh, be difficult with only one with only one dash. That might be the weakness here. But also our healing is just absolutely broken by the sound of it. Also having just straight up the, the life the, the light beam is quite literally life drain. So that's pretty nice. Gonna go for a ride there, Mr. Spider. Our Mrs. Spider. Oh, this is Spider Warrior. It's a big one. The cooldown on my stuff is pretty slow. I'd say is my weak is my worst part right now. A lot of downtime. Alright, chaos. My wife just brought me cookies. I am I am blessed. Ability power by 12. That's just global. 
quality of an essence by 80. We could pump up essence of veracity by 80%, which would be kind of good. Our max health by 220. Um, our, sh our charge scales off our max HP. Our ult kind of does. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to take ability power by 12. I think that's a... I mean, that helps everything. Memory remnant. Melee dark damage. Nah, I, I like the idea of a grabbing attack, but at the same time, just give me the dream dust. Let's go back over here and let's upgrade some stuff. I would like to upgrade this first and foremost. And then this... Reduces the cooldown of it, which is nice. And then I don't have any more. <laughs> and then I don't have any more dust for anything. So on we go. Um, not visited, not visited. Hunters have occupied this area. Seems like the hunters do not go to the exit room, which is nice. That thing just evaporated. I guess what we really want is like attack speed, right? I am in the air. Now they're in the air. All's fair in love and bonk. Concept remnant, that's what they're called. Increased damage against high health enemies. 39% uh, enhanced damage against high health enemies. I mean, I I guess I could just put it on on beam of light for now. You can move them freely, so there's no harm in just doing it. Uh, let's just go to every area. Let's get strong. That works. The CC from gravity is insane. I'm kind of just okay with these abilities. One thing I really like about this game is how it is constantly feeding you new abilities to the point where you're just like, oh, I can, you know, I can switch it up basically whenever I want to. All right, boss time. We are full health, unsurprisingly, given our obscene amount of <laughs> self-healing. All right, it's the same boss. It's the same boss. I missed the gravity beam. Okay, this... These types of things are going to be worse. Maybe I'm just supposed to just tank it. Maybe... Maybe this character just doesn't fucking care. <laughs> Although I am getting juggled. Wow. We're just out brawling the boss. Yeah, just straight up. Just... No, no fucks given there. Legendary memory. Hysteria. Embrace intense fury for six seconds. During this time, you cannot use other memories, but you continuously swipe, swipe with your claws, dealing 82 dark damage to enemies and healing yourself for 10. If your health is below 40, the healing amount is increased by 150. Attack effect is triggered on the first targeted hit. The faster your attack speed, the faster you swipe. Um, look, I'm not getting rid of Lethal Beam of Light. 10 second cooldown. For six seconds, you swipe dealing that much damage. I don't, I'm going to take it over gravity for science, right? Uh, well, I guess I could use it now. Oh, we do be slashing. Is that even good, though? Like, 82 and heal yourself for 10? And my attack speed's pretty low. I don't think we actually want that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dismantle it. Oddly. 
I think my other characters would have wanted that. Or, like, especially the duelist. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe you guys are in the comments are going to tell me I'm crazy, but I, I just doesn't seem like what I want to be doing. Hunter start here. Um, I'm going to go up, up to this well. I think the map could use a little work. I like the like the constellation design where you can go forward and back and whatever. But I think there could be more interesting points of interest rather than like, oh, this one has a well. This one has a what have you, whatever, you know. Like that's kind of whatever. All right. Um. Well, that seems pretty good. A 40. Let's upgrade the ult. Let's upgrade. Oh, I can't upgrade that. Let's upgrade the passive. And off we go. I'm just going to use the ult to heal in this area. I don't really see a reason not to. Like, sure, I won't have it up for a little bit, but at the same time, it's just a full heal. Yeah, our attack speed is really slow, so that's, I'm going to take that as the reason why the legendary memory wasn't that amazing for us. And gravity being a CC um, and straight up interrupt to some of it, like elite enemies abilities is pretty powerful. Uh, I'm going to come back to that. We just brawling. <laughs> I will take 20% health. Will I take 40% health? Yeah. It's a lot of gold. There's a shop adjacent to us. Probably worth it. Hopefully. What do we got here? Um, flame jet, no, and two ice claws. Okay. Casting this memory fires five arrows that deal 27 damage. That's fine. So we can buy two of these. When this memory deals cold damage, wait, wait, wait. This does do cold damage. It deals additional cold damage equal to 8% of my max health and briefly stuns. Can only trigger once every 5 seconds. Each time it triggers, my maximum health is permanently increased by... <laughs> okay. Okay. As much as I would like to buy other things, taking that and slapping it there seems absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to go here and potentially heal. But I guess we could just drop this and just heal ourselves anyway. So we're just spamming Q now because we're going to get max HP every time we hit with it. And it's going to be a big bonk. And that's like, that's really the appeal I see with this game is that you, you're kind of make your own abilities sort of deal. Memory a remnant. I think it's gonna get trashed. Yeah. That's right. You gotta mash it. You gotta mash it. I keep wanting to hold. Uh, I don't see a reason to spend money on that. Powerful force is felt in this place. A shrine of guidance is located. Okay, we're just gonna go here. <laughs> it's got all the effects. Powerful monsters, you say? Nah. Nah, I'm the powerful monster here. <laughs> Although, can't just randomly take hits. 
can't just randomly take hits. I can just straight dumpster these guys, though. What is that? Oh, he's, he's just dead anyway. Doesn't matter. A cooldown on my abilities. Oh, no. I'm so glad I held on to gravity. It's so useful in every situation. I'm not old. It just makes me invincible, like, what? Also, this thing does an obscene amount of damage. Let's go... Wait, there's a thingy over here. Repulsive Shield 3. That seems good, but I feel like I'm just I'm stuck in my ways right now. I like I like what I've got going on. I don't really want to change it. Uh, let's go to the Shimmering Well. We have 185. So the only change in this item is that it scales by 1% more of my max health. Which 1% of 100 is 1, 1% of 1,000 is 10, so this would be 10 more damage. Uh, I'll give it 1. Okay, now it's 2%. Uh, that seems pretty good. Next upgrade doesn't seem as good. What if... Essence of Veracity... What if we upgrade the Beam of Light? Anti-gravity cooldown. I mean, I guess lowering the cooldown on our stuff is probably more important, huh? I will spend $24 on a, on a full heal right here. Um, hunters here. But hunters are bad, basically. They, they're real strong. Accelerated time. All right, we found another new thing in the game. Everything's sped up. It's ultra rapid fire mode. It's earth. They added earth to this game. That's crazy. It's crazy and I love it. I love it so much. It's the game I always wanted. It's League of Legends without all the... All the toxic teammates. Because of the PvP nature of the game. Like, this is also co-op so you could play with friends and it would be fantastic. Um, I think attack speed increases on hit. Okay. <laughs> okay. You can trade with a merchant. 144 before the boss. Sure. Um, what do we have? Beam of light plus. Does that replace this one? Not sure how that works. Casting this memory increases attack speed by 25% for five seconds. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go back. We're going to move this over to here. Because this is each time it hits an enemy. This hits multiple times. We're going to go to this. Because casting this is going to give us 25% attack speed. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all making sense. I'll heal, whatever. That just means we could save the ult for a little bit, because we're probably not going to ult twice in the same run, in the same fight. I guess. Hopefully not. Hopefully the fight goes faster than that. I don't really want to be brawling with this person. I do have to just avoid this, though. And I am very bad at that because we have no mobility. Okay, gravity is very bad here.
Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh, we're dead. Fuck. <laughs> okay. I see a problem with what we did. Um, without having extra mobility, that character falls into a trap. Well, we're, we gotta, we gotta go one more time, right? Uh, can I use some of my things? I got 20. Let's see. Amount of gold obtained from defeating enemies up. More dream dust. Um. Okay. Oh. I did what I could. Let's run it back. I think we learned a valuable lesson there. I can't spend all of my abilities on just brawling. Because the boss is going to run through me there. Because I don't think I could have just ran away. Like, I was trying to run away, and then I realized that we had, like, the same movement speed. I'm here. Train here. Let's go this way and go around. Huh. So you can... Is this an attack an area? Is that what this is? Is this auto attack an area? Kind of. So you could press A to like... A and target to attack an area. Much like... Much like Lee. Um, however... I don't know how much that would help me with the, with the bosses. Let's do anything on end. No. Um... Step here. So yeah, I guess we'll see if we can find some type of mobility. Uh, mobility power. Because the gravity was really helpful against minions, but it didn't really do anything against the boss. It was kind of a dead skill, which... It's probably fine in multiplayer, not so fine solo. Ignite. Deals 55 fire damage, target's already burning, deals increased damage by 50, and deals area damage, charges fully at once. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Uh, we go this way. I'm gonna try and clear as many areas as possible. So you spam it, and if I'm reading it correctly, all three charges come back. Right. Okay, that's interesting. I don't feel like quite quite the bruiser that we once were. Let our Ignite come back. I don't know if we'll keep Ignite. We'll see. It's pretty strong. A lot of DPS, but is that enough? Flaming Whip. Oh, this one's pretty cool. We had this yesterday. Or I guess earlier today. I could heal. It's only 15. Yeah. Especially with an ominous... Oh, wait a second. We could Flame Whip into Ignite. Hold up. All right, we've got some synergies here. Cast 10 memories within 10 seconds. Well, I got an achievement for doing stuff. The last ha leaf hound, not the last hound. Hound, that's a totally different thing. So I'm just spamming W and E right now. <laughs> Pop off ability power up, memory haste by 18. The problem is I don't know how much memory haste is. I know that that's cooldown reduction, and they should just change memory haste to cooldown reduction. It's kind of annoying that that's, like, what you're dealing with. Um, I'm going to take ability power. I think it's just better. And I base that on very little time with the game at this point, so keep that in mind. 
but we are on whip <laughs> slash whip slash whip because whip resets every time that you uh, cast another ability which is pretty good It also has insane synergy with Ignite. And pretty low cooldown. Now, I do believe you can change your starting stuff, so we don't have to take that. Chomp. Bites the target enemy, dealing 276 and restoring 85. We... We can be... Uh, how did I forget the guy's name? I just had it in my head. I used to play him all the time. The big space monster from League. Uh, we're going to get rid of our Traveler's memory. I don't know if that's a good idea, but we're doing it. My brain keeps wanting to say Garchomp, but I realize that's a Pokemon and definitely not... Uh... <laughs> Def Definitely not the lead character I'm thinking of. Somebody will get me in the comments. Uh, I would like to chomp that guy up. Okay. Well. That didn't seem so bad. Flame with Wei. Now, I, I still haven't resolved that same issue we had last time where one of my skills does, in fact, need to provide some sort of movement. I would think for us to have a good time here on that last boss. Are there, maybe I can play around it. The dream dust. I'm gonna go here. Ominous presence. Okay. Holy moly. I don't know what just happened. Attack damage by nine. Nah, we're not doing that. Maximum health up. That's pretty good. I think memory haste is where we want to be, though. Fire related thing, cooldown reduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Emblem of sublimation. Oh, another artifact. And then the shimmering well. It goes to 32 cooldown, which reduces cooldown by 19%. Now it's 24% cooldown. I don't know how great that is, but it's something. Someone's calling out to me. All right, another person to give the uh, the thing to. Can I use my abilities? On? Well, not on the Stardust. Yes, I can. Wait, can I eat those things? That's a better question. Oh, full heal? These areas are actual full heals? Yeah, I'm going to give it to him. I'm not going to read his stuff. He's going to drop some stuff for me. There's lore if you're interested. This is a gameplay video, not a lore video though. <laughs> Repulsive shield. Mm. I dust it. There's a well here, so I'm gonna hit that up before we go to the last boss. That is a hilarious entrance to a to a room. Or is that the whole arena? Uh, not quite. I'm gonna hold the old. I think I don't really need to cash it in before the boss.
At least I wouldn't think so. We do have a massive heal on on our chomper there. Chogoth, that's the name of him. Man, you knew it was coming. Man, I used to play so much Chogoth. All right. Increases movement speed on cast or fire damage. <laughs> yes. You don't say. You don't say. All right. Let's um increase the damage of whip. Increase the damage of ignite. We are some type of holy fire knight right now. Let's see if we can handle the first boss. I imagine we can. Our burst damage seems insane. So we're going to E then W then or we're going to E chomp or E W E Q E W E W E W alt E that should have recharged by then. Yes, 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 this is <laughs> that's what I was intending on doing. It worked out. I messed up at the start, but um, you know, sometimes you get it. All right, cooldown up by 32 percent. Nice. That's how you handle the boss. Uh, nah, I don't I don't think we need the shrine, shrine of pants. Is there anything else in here? Did I maybe miss something last time? Is worth checking. All right, hunters are here. I guess we'll check this well and we're like, go ahead. Feels like we're really strong though. Wait, does our dash count? Our dash does not count as a. for the purposes of whip. I would like to take a chomp out of this. Thank you. Um, in fact, I'm going to wait and take another chomp out of it. Uh, nah. No shield. Chomp. And then I'm going to come back over here. here. I think I'm going to upgrade chomp. And we have 60 left. I'm going to upgrade this. And then we're going to take another chomp out of that. Cool. 29? Is that enough? 29 Dream Dust was enough. That would have been kind of nice, but it's all right. This is quite a different character than last time, huh? So last, this also tried to kill me. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what was in there, but it, it tried to murder me and I didn't like it. So I'm going to not click on it. <laughs> a whole lot of a whole lot of clicking, not a lot of uh, other stuff. Uh, hunters are entering that area. I'm going to click here then. So they don't cut us off. This <laughs> is so dumb. Oh, it feels so good. I'm taking a chomp out of this. It's just old. We're far enough away from the boss. Neat. Trade with Merchant. Yeah, let's go. Give me some good stuff. Give me... When you cast another memory or use dodge, gain one stack of thunder. Ah, uh, that's not really where I want to be. Periodically hurls fireballs. So when casting this memory or dealing fire damage with it, movement speed increases. Okay, so what we're going to do is take this. We're going to equip it to this. Now, whenever this deals fire damage, it also triggers this which is really, really cool. Ignite plus plus. What about efficient ignite plus plus plus? Ooh, searing charge would go kind of hard, but kind of like what we already have. Casting some 
Memory fires five arrows that deal damage. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna go right there. Okay, that was pretty good. An ominous presence. Oh no. Not the ominous presence. Good thing I got my trusty flame whip. Ice elemental? Nah. Oh, he did explode though. Attack speed up, attack damage, memory haste. Now nah, we're we're a we're a memory haste build for sure. Powerful force. Go to the powerful forces. I would like to take a chomp out of that. Take a bite out of crime. Whatever happened to that guy? He's still around fighting crimes as a as a dog. Concept movement. Give me something good. Summon blades on hit. Don't mind if I do. Again, we we're putting that on the thing that hits multiple times because uh Well, it happens. Oh wait, this can only trigger once every two seconds for each enemy. Um, it might actually be better served to go here then. Either way, it's gonna get a little underutilized. But that's okay. Shop. Hunters are here. Let's go to the shop. We have enough money. Each time this memory hits, increase your attack speed. Every 10 seconds, is the damage dealt to enemies by casting memories increased by 26. If it deals light damage, increased by 39. Um, <laughs> um, oh, but also the heal. Ooh, we can increase our light damage by 39% on this one, or we could just take the heal over seven on this thing. I'm gonna take the heal here. I think that's better for our long-term game plan. Oh. Well, I guess we're going to the end now to avoid the hunters. You really don't want to get caught up by them. Put it. They put that tax on you. All right. I think we cleared the girl this time. It's got to watch out. We still didn't ever get an uh, answer for a whirlwind. But we have much more damage. I think the answer is, yeah, just stay away when she starts it. And then we dash back in and go crazy. Okay. Oh, my ult was already back up again. Well, would have been fine. Fine essence of efficiency. Which one was that? I don't know. I don't know which one it was. Whatever. I don't think I need to use the heal shrine because we can just... Um, we could just ult in the first room. I don't like seeing healing has been prevented ever, but you know. We do be spamming some shit right now. 
Memory Remnant? Probably not. Static Discharge? Hold down the Cascade, you charge up Static when fully charged, detonate. Eh, that's cool and all, but like... We already kind of have like our synergy stuff going, like this is our support. Wait, we're going... We're here. We're going this way. Let's go up here. In the stars. To make sure we're chomping on everything. This thing seems insane. Chomp plus plus. Pretty, pretty good. Flawed essence on attack speed on hit. That's just an upgrade, right? Or no. Okay, each time this memory hits an enemy, your attack speed increases by 7% for 3 seconds. It's fine. It's not really doing anything, but... Hey, it's gold. Watch out, that's the elite. I'm just gonna ult. It's for safety's sake. I didn't really need to do that, but whatever. Increase the level of a memory by two. Sure. Do I wanna go flame vortex? Not flame vortex, flaming whip up or ignite up? Or we can go chomp up, honestly. Upgrade chomp. Faster cooldown, more healing. I have 233. Um, the fact that the cooldown gets lowered. All right, what are the cheap things here we can do? Movement speed up by 5% seems bad. Periodically fire a fireball. Fire five arrows that deal. Okay, this one seems effective. And then. I'm gonna upgrade this. And upgrade this. 35. Yeah. Probably better. Probably better to split it up than spending all our stuff on one thing. I don't know. This stage is trippy. All right. <laughs> Ice Claw? Nah. And trade with a merchant. Mm, I'll probably be able to trade with a merchant on the way to the final boss, I would assume. I would hope. I can't, that's gonna suck, but we'll figure it out. I guess also, one thing I haven't considered is that Chomp is kind of a movement ability, albeit it's only a move towards the target ability. Which is in fact strictly worse, so let's Ignite 4, so we'll just get rid of that. Uh, let's step here. Let's hope that there is a merchant in that last open spot. That would be bad if there wasn't. Quite bad indeed. Some type of named guy coming up? Oh, oh, it's big. Bam Majira again, coming out here to cause problems, and he exploded. Does do that. Maximum health by 200 is pretty good. Quality of an essence by 80. 
I feel like... Um... I feel like upping this one is pretty good. And then upping it some more. We have 80. We have 53, which is just short on that one. Take that for some healing, though. No shop, you say? Huh. Okay, a lot of wasted gold then. That's alright. Just gotta make sure we're strong enough to take on this final boss here. Increased damage against high health enemies. I mean, sure. <laughs> Go to the literal last place we can before the boss. Wasn't a whole lot of that. What? Wasn't a whole lot there, but that's okay. We are full health, so that shrine does nothing for us. And we continue on to fight Nyx. Uh, I'm just gonna go in. Wait. Yeah. Well, we got an immediate phase transition, so that's pretty good. The problem is we blew our load super early. Oh, phase transition again. Also, not a terrible thing. Oh wait, this is bad. This is bad. I have no way to get away. We just brawl it? We brawl through it? Okay. The big hammer goes crazy. Give me your soul, Nyx. Give me your soul. Take me even further beyond. You have completed all adventures in the demo version. You want to finish the game? Yes. Success. I have done it. With Vesper. He is a badass. We got 58 Stardust. Um, three bosses killed. Zero hunters killed. I guess you can farm hunters too if you want. I need to try that next time. Oh well. This game is so much fun, guys. It's so much fun. It's so much fun, and this guy's so cool. But we do have to try out this um, mage with the funny ears and see how that goes. Let's see, what did we get? Amount of gold from defeating enemies goes up. This doesn't even unlock in this version. So... Alright, more gold. But, uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. Oh, no, I would like to apply those changes. That's it for today's video. I'll probably do one more video on this game, at least for the demo uh, for that last character. Maybe some multiplayer, maybe, potentially, if I get some people to play with. Um, as I'm really, really enjoying this. What's in the extras? Oh, guidebook. Yep. But, uh, yeah, Shape of Dream comes out May 25th. I will be... Or May 2025. I will be playing a lot of this uh as we get you know as that time approaches as soon as i'm able to play it the full game but uh yeah appreciate you all for watching hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to do the youtube stuff like comment subscribe you guys know the deal i have to say it because of youtube stuff uh but yeah i really do appreciate you guys and i will see you all tomorrow have a great day jeff out bye